Welcome to Killabit. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy KB and today I'm going to show you how to run Android P in your Windows PC. First of all, you have to visit this site developer.android.com. Don't worry, I will put link in the description. You can go there and once you're here, you will see you have an option to download the Android Studio. You just have to download the Android Studio and you can see the download size is not that big it's around 700 megabyte but when you install it it will take your pc's space up to 9 gigabyte or something and if you have a really slow internet connection it will take forever to get installed in your pc just like me i think uh, in my pc when i installed the android studio it took around three or four hours so make sure that you take a time to install the android studio i have already done installing the android studio because it takes long time to install in my system so once you have installed the android studio go into the search bar and search here for android studio android studio and uh, just open it and make sure that you just install the Android Studio fully and after that you just have to open the Android Studio as you can see the Android Studio is starting and you will see this welcome screen on the Android Studio now you have to create a new project within this Android Studio so I'm just gonna start a new Android Studio project I'm gonna click on that and it will create the new project and after that give the application name any name it doesn't matter because we want to run the android emulator that is the only purpose of this video i'm just gonna make it like android test okay and after that i'm gonna put it uh, right there it's fine and i'm gonna go next and after that phone tablet you can select the android version for your uh, app development but uh, leave it as it is if you want to just hit on next hit next and hit next finish and it should create the new project and open the new project in the android studio as you can see here it is creating the new project so you just have to wait for it to open this newly created project and as you can see it created the new project and uh, this is our application development environment we don't have to touch anything we can close everything here all we need is the avd manager so this is the Android Virtual Device Manager. Through this, we can run the Android P or any Android version. So there is a, you just have to click on that icon, AVD Manager, click there, and it should open the AVD Manager, and you can just m minimize the Android Studio now. And as you can see, it will open the Android Virtual Device Manager, the AVD Manager. As you can see, I have already created the two devices here, the virtual devices, Pixel 2 Android P, and the Nexus uh, with 27 API which is Android Oreo. So if you want to run the Android P, you have to create the new virtual device with the Android P. Click on create new virtual device and after that you have an option for like what kind of device you want to emulate. TV, VR, phone or tablet. I'm gonna go and select the phone and after that I can select the Pixel XL, Pixel, these are all presets for the phone. I'm just gonna select the Pixel 2 and gonna hit next. After that here we have to select the Android version, which Android version you want to run. So we want to run the Android P, we have to select the Android P, but in your case it will say the download. You have to download the Android P to run so the download size will be around one gigabyte so make sure that you have a good internet connection or you just take your time to download the android p just like for example as you can see here oreo is not downloaded we have to click on download so it can download as you can see here finding available sdk this is just an example like for example say oreo is in p android p and you are downloading it for the first time this is how it works as you can see here downloading and you have to just take your time and once it gets download it will say install so i'm gonna cancel it so that's how you download the android p if you want to run the android p in android studio so i have already downloaded the android p so i'm just gonna select the android p here and I'm gonna hit next and after that I can change the resolution and uh, screen orientation 
ported or landscape i'm gonna go with the ported and if you want to enable the device frame you can enable it i'm gonna disable it for now and if, after that you can go into the advanced settings here you can select your ram and all that kind of stuff so as you can see installed ram you can go into the gigabyte section so you can select like two gigabyte three gigabyte or four gigabyte so i'm just gonna leave it as one gigabyte for now and uh, after that done you just have to click on finish and it should create the new android device the virtual device as you can see here it created the new virtual device as you can see here uh, pixel 2 apip so this is the old one so i can now i just have to click on this green icon just hit on green icon and it will launch that android emulator as you can see it is emulating and we just have to wait for a little while and as you can see here if you see this kind of error message or something you just have to click on dismiss and uh, you just have to wait for it to boot up and you will see it will boot just like the android phone the real android phone as you can see google and it is spinning and yeah powered by android looks really amazing yet this is the only one way to run the android p in your windows pc you are emulating the android p boot will take around like one or two minutes and it will also depend on your windows system like if your pc is really slow it might take longer but uh, for me it will take around one or two minutes as you can see android is starting and yeah it took around one minute to start so as you can see here this is the android p now i can run easily as you can see here as you can see you can browse anything whatever you want like for example youtube and you can launch the youtube right there if you want to browse the internet you can also do that i'm gonna open the google chrome and i'm gonna hit on accept continue and as you can see and this is how you run android p in your windows pc i can also do the search it works you know everything works just fine i'm gonna search for myself kill all pet okay and search let's see how it goes and as you can see here it worked and uh, yeah this is my website and this is my videos and yeah that's how you run the android p in your windows pc and uh, yeah it's a little bit complicated it might take your lots of storage in your pc because when you install the android studio it will take around 9 gigabyte to 10 gigabyte so yeah if you are willing to give away that much of storage then you can run the android p in your pc and yeah that's all hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and uh, i will put link in the description for the android studio you can go there and get the android studio and run any android that you want i will see you in the next one take care of self and have fun bye bye